Hello folks and welcome to another Richard Head Longbows video. That's Richard, I'm Ooh, Philip yeah. and these are some longbows so you can see why we called it that name. Uh, if you haven't been here before this is where we help you make bows and arrows and show you lots of other English longbow related type stuff and one of those things that we do is also sell things. Oh, uh, at good. least we try to. <laughs> uh, that's how you make money apparently. Um, so yeah we've got some quivers here today so uh, what have we got? Well the chap who makes them has handed over a couple of X display quivers so they're um, a little bit older than the brand new quivers that we sell hence the colour of the leather has taken on this really nice dark I don't know how to describe it really it's it's a very ready, rich, rich yeah very yeah. rich colour this is uh, an over the shoulder quiver uh, we've shown these before the strap goes over your shoulder and then the quiver hangs at your side but all the weight is taken on your shoulder it's not pulling your trousers down ah, right. uh, this one lots of carving on it must have taken ages to do it yeah dread to think actually. very very elaborate carving it is, it is really elaborate uh, it's got a little pocket here which you can put things in spare, sweets spare, spare tab I don't Cigarettes. Know whether, you might, you could might even get a cigar in there. You might even actually. get a mobile phone in it. I oh yeah, you could. Perhaps, yeah. Let's it, see. Oh, right. handy. You, you've got I just one. happen to have a mobile phone. It might, it might fit in there. Hey, look at that. Wow. Perfect. It's a mobile phone holder. Excellent. It's not for cigarettes or cigars. Oh, we better take that out. We don't want to sell it with that. No, that would be complete. Yeah. And um, there's a little uh, tube there to put your scoring pencil or pen in as well. Or other electronic device that might fit in there. <laughs> Whatever that <laughs> I don't be. know. I don't know what would fit in there. Well, there would be something. something. Perhaps we'll invent something. Yeah, something that fits. Um, so, yeah. So, that, that's it. Um, that's that one. It's, say, X display. Um, and it's still in very good condition. A few people have probably tried it on. Um, so you wouldn't know. No, it's... it's, it's <laughs> but, but the fact that it's slightly older means the leather has gone this really rich rich colour yes. so yeah, you, yeah. um, you'd be hard pressed to get one new you won't, that look like that you won't is, get is another the point you yeah. won't you won't find another one of these anyway no, no. so that's that one what else have we got uh, I've got another similar one again so this is another this over is, the shoulder this is another over the shoulder again right. from the same uh, well, what we mean by over the shoulder is normally a quiver would sit on your belt at your side yeah this has got the strap goes over your shoulder so the quiver is down there at your side where it normally would be um, but the weight is taken on your shoulder mm. um, great so this one uh, I think this is spring book fur oh the here. fur oh right ooh how springy I think it's spring book um, again it's gone this nice dark rich colour that only comes with with age Apparently all the quivers uh, that he makes eventually go this this colour. We all start going funny colours with age. Is that right? <laughs> Unless I can edit this film properly. <laughs> we look a bit funny at the moment. <laughs> so there, there we are. So a, a basically new quiver, but we will no doubt be selling it at, uh, um, at a bargain price. At new price. prices. <laughs> no, that, that's a good one. The, the other one obviously been around a little bit longer than this one, but it's got that gone that really nice colour so so that's and that and one if you haven't seen our other videos about these these are very sort of hard wearing solid leather yeah they're a very good quality very, really really, they're, really they're good quality uh, the end has got a a oh, it's got a divider uh, divider in, in yeah. it so you can put the three arrows you're shooting in there and then the rest of them in the bottom uh not sure of the other one yeah the one i showed you just now that also has the same so that's that's that one what, what else, else have we got? got? What else have we got? Have you got one that's uh, normal, so to speak? Normal? Well, yeah. We don't do normal. Well, we, OK. We there are no normal ones here. We don't do normal here. Including us. <laughs> right. This is, again, not normal. Ah, we not have, normal. We have had these on our shop before richardheadlongbows.com oh, I'll put that ones. up on the screen yeah, okay uh, again another <laughs> over the shoulder one uh, but I spot something different it's What's... got an extra tube ah. so and it's also got the divider 
The extra tube is so that when you're field, this is really field shooting and you're shooting three arrows, you can put the three that you're using in that tube separate from all your others. Oh, it's not for a yard of ale. Nothing like that. Right. No, with that one of those long phones a you long, can get now. Thin phone. <laughs> <laughs> or a pencil that drops down the bottom. Electronic pencil. <laughs> no, it's not like that at all. I don't know what else you could put in it, I suppose. Uh, anyway, that's the idea. And some people like it. Uh, <laughs> some people like some it. Some people like it. You oh, no, might. They, they do. Do people, you like it? People have bought Here them. Here it is. These are all the rage. They are. All the kids <laughs> want them. They don't want mobile phones anymore. They, they want a quiver want. with an extra tube. <laughs> so this bit contraband one, in it. This one does have some carving on it there, and it's got some oak leaves or something there. The and and the guy who makes there. these, so he's saying that this will go that similar dark it will, after yep, years. Yep, yep, it will go that go that colour. And I mean, if you buy one of these quivers, it will eventually go that colour, and you can sell it on. We've had second-hand ones that mm. have gone that really nice dark colour. Mm. And because of the quality of the leather, and they're all hand-stitched, it's not stitched on a machine, they're no. all hand-stitched. Every mm. stitch is done by hand. They, they last a lifetime. So if you buy one, you might think, oh, do I really want to spend that amount of money on a quiver? But it will last you out, and you can actually sell it on. Which means I'm going to inherit a when you're them, dead, because he'll be dead, and I'll have to get rid of all these sell all these quivers. So if you so. want to wait a few years, <laughs> you'll get. <laughs> I'll smell, be selling them all off half price. <laughs> I haven't got one of these nice ones. Oh, so no, I've got to have one. Really, oh, I? oh, sorry, folks. <laughs> all these are gone now. Because he's going to have them all. <laughs> a right, collection. So that, that's that one with the, the spare tube, which is again brilliant quiver. In fact, of course, uh, as of the making this video, video we, we, we do currently have these in stock. But of course, when you're watching this video, we might not have them in stock. So do have a look at the website. Someone might have bought and, uh, them all. Yeah. So this one looks different again. It what, is. This is, is this a one? back quiver, ah. which goes over your shoulder, a la oh. Robin Hood. So it's a bit like a shoulder quiver, it, but it goes over your back. Yes, this is a back. It's not an over the shoulder. This is a proper back quiver. Right. But What's the difference? guy who made it... Because the back quiver moves around and you bend forward and the quiver slips around, right. he's actually put a belt on it. Oh, so, so it goes around your waist goes around and the your back. back. So that goes around ah. quiver over on your back. If you want, you can take it out if you don't need it, but there's a belt there. Oh, it's removable. Yeah, oh, I see. It just, okay. slips, just yeah. slips in, in there. So the belt can go around your waist, stops the back quiver from moving around. You can't get a phone on that. There's no, there's nothing, there's no phone there's pouch. No, there isn't. Oh, nothing no. to put your phone in on that one. Got extra thickness around the top, which is nice. There's these little uh, rounded bits there with decorations in. Uh, the strap's decorated. The belt is decorated. I mean, it would cost you quite a bit to buy one of these belts actually if you want to get a tooled leather belt in a shop yeah and I, this is I quality leather it's not yeah. some cheap leather from uh, one of our european countries i don't know where this comes from but this is proper proper english <laughs> english we're not in english europe leather. anymore oh no we're not <laughs> no it's not a, not a cheap leather i mean we've bought stuff in from this Pakistan is your proper expensive places. expensive uk it, leather it is, this is that we're doing at Bargain, bargain prices. prices. Come to Richard Head Longbows for bargain prices. Uh, yeah, so that's the quivers that we have. Oh, that all of them? Uh, I'm afraid oh. so. Oh, well. That's all the different ones. I've got boxes of side quivers up there. I was going to say, on the website, <laughs> there is lots of other quivers. These just happen to be the latest batch that we've got in. Um, they're a little bit different, yeah. uh, particularly the ones that are, are of older stock. Um, they've gone that nice colour, as Richard yeah. pointed out, and um, we thought we'd like, you'd like to see yeah. those. Once they're gone, they're gone. As yeah. I say, there's no way we can get anything like that again. No. Nope. Um, but the chap who makes these, we've got plenty of other ones, different the, the styles normal side, and, side and, quivers, and yeah. what have you. Yeah. So have a look, they are all on there. Yeah. And uh, sorry if these have gone by the time you yeah. look or see this video in five years' time. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the over-the-shoulder ones, we've got quite a lot of those. Yeah, in other, uh, other styles. But he never seems to make two things identical. So they're no, all they're handmade, slightly so. different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Different patterns, different... 
uh, can be slight various shades of, of, of leather, um, mm. but they're all they're all really good quality. And the pouches, of course, have had to get bigger over the years to fit the bigger phones. So I think the original iPhone <laughs> used used to fit in the in the old ones. Not those big brick ones. No, yeah, no, have a not special, the nineties. The special <laughs> quiver for those. But you used to fit the entire phone <laughs> into that. That was all phone. You couldn't get arrows in there in the nineties. You just had to have that, and that was it. You could have spare battery, you'd have to have a second quiver to put a spare battery in. And then when you used to use the tin can and a bit of string mm. on a field course, that was really awkward. It was. You wanted to talk to your mate. From it target was 20 12 targets to 29, yeah. If it went round a tree, you started losing some of the signal. Well, they just think we're nutty, aren't they? Now? Yeah, I think they do think we're nutty. <laughs> but no one ever gets to the end of videos, so we can say whatever we like. Because <laughs> we know for a fact that you've already gone. Yeah, you've closed it down there. <laughs> Right. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah. Uh, you'll see some other videos on the screen, a, a subscribe button over his face, and, uh, and, and, oh, and the link is below if you want to have a look at these quivers. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye. <laughs>